be spending most of my day studying for my internal medicine shelf exam, which is in five days. I'm headed out to meet my friend. Um, I'm gonna go to her house, maybe eat, do some questions, and then we're gonna go out to tracks and then probably head to school after that. All right, let's go. Before I go, check out this nice little drawing I did the other day to present non-hepatic hyperammonemia, um, which I never actually got to present, but I drew it out and I thought it looked so nice. So I thought I would just display it here and maybe I'll like actually remember this um, urea cycle. Andy. Shape. <laughs> We're here to study that face. It's not face. What book? Here. How come that guy does such a good job of rolling your thing and like such a bad job of you rolling went, my you thing? He was going in. He was like <laughs> kneading the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Our Easter eggs. Not a friend. <laughs> I'm not eating alone. <laughs> I've never tried to eat on camera. There's no good way to do it. It's just like me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to be done. Mm -hmm. I can't even fake the enthusiasm anymore. Mm -mm. It's like, you can do it. That school's great. No. <laughs> People ask you. Mm -hmm. And you're like, mm. <laughs> Like, all my aunts come, how's school? And I'm like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is hypotensive mm -hmm. and tachycardic. Did you get hypotensive with PE? I know you get tachycardic as the first thing. I think she has an infection. That's why I thought it was incentive spirometry. We you like prevent pneumonia. Yeah. I don't it's not warfarin because that doesn't make sense. Because mm -hmm. you would still need, you don't get warfarin after surgery. Right, so. you need a heparin. Yeah. Bridge. And it's not A, so it's either B or C. The pleuritic rub, having some type of pleuritic infection makes me think. It's a foxitin, right? I guess. Because if it's not A, Aspirin. Can aspirin be anti-inflammatory? Mm, like, not really. Not really, right? No. Caught it doesn't make the sense. The reason, you know what? Oh my god. Guys, I'm back. I had this irrational fear that Candy had ran out the door the, when I left this morning. So I was like imagining her being outside the apartment the whole time, but thankfully she's still here. <laughs> so I just got back from school. Um, I think I headed over to my friend Dania's. Hold on, let me feed Candy first. Okay, now it's like 8.40 and I just got back. So it was a full day of studying, like at least seven, six, seven hours of studying. I still have a few more things to do. It's nearing towards the end of uh, medicine rotation, so I have some like last minute things to just finish up. I have to write my HMP. I'm writing my seventh one out of um, eight that I have to do. So there's like a gu guideline and requirements of different types of patients that you're supposed to see, so I have to log some of that. And really the last week of rotation, which is this coming week, is all about just getting questions done, doing practice exams, and um, we do have like three and a half days of clinical duty, so we do have to go to the hospital and um, do all that. So it's almost near the end. The only thing I have left is I have one month of emergency medicine clerkship, 
which I have next and then I have three weeks of neuro neurology and third year is over after that so it went by super fast but I know I learned a ton and um, it's been a really great learning experience I think you really learn the most in third year um, in terms of like how to become a doctor and then you just reinforce that and practice more of that during fourth year and then you become an intern I think I'm gonna probably wash up and um, start my HMP or finish my HMP. Hey guys, so I just finished my HMP um, and then I emailed it to my preceptor. So I just wanted to check in and say hello and say good night because I think I'm gonna head to bed soon. It's about 11 o'clock p.m. A um, couple things before I go. Um, I hope you guys like this vlog. Um, this, I think this is the first time probably that I included like studying with a friend or doing something with someone from med school because I, I try to be very careful about including people in my life because I don't know if they necessarily want to be on camera or if they want to be um, on YouTube. So I try not to um, film them unless they're totally okay with it and my friend Dania was cool enough to let me film and she showed me all the cool workouts and stretches that you can do in the track. By the way, I love working out outside and now that it's getting warmer, I hope to do more of that and hopefully I'll have more footages to show you guys. Next week, my mom is coming for the weekend. The weekend after I take my shelf exams, and we're gonna be apartment hunting. I'm gonna try to film different apartments that we see so that I can maybe show you guys and um, kind of let you know what it's like to uh, apartment hunt in New York City. Another thing is I want to thank you guys so much for participating in the MBTI personality guessing from the last video or two videos ago or whatever. Um, I, I thought it was really fun to read all your comments and like all your guesses for my personality type. So if you guys missed it, my personality type is INFJ and I thought it was surprising how many people guessed it right. And I thought it was really fun to see like all your different personality types as well. But anyway, that was really fun to uh, kind of see what you guys thought I was and hopefully knowing this personality type like me maybe helps you guys uh, get to know me a little better on a different level so um, thanks for participating and with that I think I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye YouTube gave me this cool notebook